damn this is uh <laughs> this is exciting this is exciting For those of you who haven't been following my noob video adventures, let me start off by saying I do not consider myself a fisherman by any means. The little that I know has been thanks to YouTubers, avid fishermen like Carlos from Bass Brothers, and other locals such as Eli who works at Bass Pro Shop in Harlingen. Thanks again Eli, I appreciate your help this last weekend. My main purpose is to learn and hopefully inspire others who don't consider themselves outdoorsmen but are inherently curious about doing something different. After all, our motto here is to get up, get out, and do something. And those dolphins are really active right now. As I said, it's always, uh, it's always pretty cool. I'm getting some bites here. I'm getting some bites. I don't know what that was. Oh, they're really close. Those dolphins are really enjoying themselves. Yeah, I'm definitely on. Fish on! Or not. Ah, got away. Got away. Okay, we're waiting all day for this. Looks like we already got something or something's latched on. I don't know what's going on, but I have something on the line. What did it was that, was that croaker? He's giving me a fight here. Let's see what it is. So I don't know if I'm doing this the right way, but my drag is not at 100% tight. Let's see, let's tighten it up a little bit. Damn, this is, uh, <laughs> this is exciting. This is exciting. Oh my God. Yeah, this is exciting for me. Yeah. Holy shit, dude. Oh my god. What the fuck is going on? Uh. Oh no, no. Don't tell me I got... Ah, oh, I think I lost them. I think I lost them. I think I lost them. I lost them. Yeah. That sucks, dude. Oh my god, really? It's a catfish. <laughs> Joseph. Yay. Okay, something else is on the line now. It's probably gonna be another catfish. If that's the case, then I don't know. Yeah, it's coming up here. Of course it is. Man. Hold it. Bye, boy. Okay, we're on. It's probably gonna be another catfish. And if it is, we're going home. 
it's Sunday. It's Sunday. And the sun's going down. And we still have to drive all the way to McAllen. Ah, it's gonna be a catfish. Come on. Of course it is. Probably even the same one. Move. Unclamp it. Like this. Here you go. Man, he's really beaten up. Look, he's been hooked more than once today. Yeah. You're the last one, boy. The Adios. first, second, and last, boy. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Let's go, I'll take it. Don't worry about it. And we're good in the water because we got chingo the water. Chingo water. Uh, we're still trying. We're still casting out there and, and uh, trying different types of bait. And nothing, nothing so far. Uh, but every time we come out here, it's very relaxing. And and even though it's you know it's waking up early in the morning, it's you know the expenditure of the fuel and and uh, other things that you're going to be spending money on to get out here uh, it's still very rewarding uh, you know you're gonna get into an adventure you're gonna get to see some strange things maybe some interesting things out here it's never boring that's the cool thing about the East Cut never boring you come out here you're guaranteed to see something get into something so I wanted to show you guys uh, what we do around here when it comes to using the bathroom uh, I know we've we've kind of mentioned we touched touched a little bit on this in the past but we we don't like and we don't think it's the right thing to do anyway but we don't use the dunes we avoid that best we can so I think it's everybody's responsibility to clean up uh, oh god god damn it Todd clean up your shit uh, what we try to do is we try to come prepared best we can it doesn't cost a lot it's this privacy tent right here from Wolfwise. it's uh, very inexpensive and um, I'm not I don't remember exactly how much it costs but it's on Amazon it's not a big deal it's easy to put up and uh, it's easy to uh, set up here and uh, then I went to uh, Academy and I bought myself a Reliance uh, toilet seat and the bags that come along with it I will go ahead and uh, I'll leave that I'll leave that information in the description so we pick up after ourselves at the end of the day we put everything in a trash bag and uh, we it's like leave it better than how you got here okay so we pick up uh, after ourselves and then some um, I see a lot of trash out here man a lot of trash and I'm sure this is nothing new for any one of you that's come out here in the past and you've seen this before. You already know how serious the situation is. It's really bad, man. Um, but it's like common sense stuff. Like you can tell whoever was partying here, and you probably know who you are. I'm not trying to be judgy, but you're a bit of, you know? So uh, leaving all the cans, beer cans in the behind, cigarette lighters all sorts of trash and we'll pick it up we'll pick up after your stuff today uh, but there's other things we just can't carry everything for obvious reasons we don't have enough space Sandy's just not big enough you know to carry all this trash but uh, one day uh, we should come out here dedicated just to picking up after this trash out here and, and, and trust me man this is getting serious. Everybody's talking about all these other issues around the world, climate change and, and whatnot, but it's it's not that complicated. It's it's bad enough. It's bad enough in our own backyard. They're using our beautiful paradise. They're using this beautiful paradise as their personal dumpster because it's not policed, because nobody watches over you. I don't know what the hell, man. But uh, it's very frustrating, and uh, you know, this is a—is it a culture thing? I don't know. I, I don't even know how to explain it. But this has to change. 
So if you know, if you, if you come out here, you're doing this, please understand, it doesn't take a lot. Just pick up after yourself. You don't have to do anybody else's. If everybody does their part and at least picks up after themselves, the cans, man, the beer cans, really. You can't pick up the beer cans. You can crush them, put them in a bag. It's not a big deal. Just, just take care of it, you know? Well, anyway, that's, uh, that's what happens when you're getting old and you start bitching about everything. But uh, it just really pisses me off when I see stuff like that. Yeah. This is not our stuff, but might as well pick it up. Previous people who were here fishing decided to leave all this stuff behind, man. This is what I'm talking about. This is what I'm talking about. There's no need for this. No need for this. Pick up after your crap. It wasn't even much. But if everybody starts picking up after their own stuff, it's just a bucket full, man. But this bucket full times thousands of people that come out here and uh, everybody's disregarding the rules, not taking care of our beautiful, beautiful area. And this is what happens. Okay. We are definitely in a worst case scenario situation. It's a Sunday, 6.32 in the afternoon. The sun is going down. We're in the middle of nowhere at the East Cut. Nobody's here. And for some reason, Sandy is not, she doesn't want to start. A dead battery, no cell phone service, a rising tide, a setting sun, and no help around. How are we gonna get out of this one? Almost like playing a video game here. Stand by for episode 16 to find out what happens. If you enjoyed the content, please subscribe and like our video. Thank you for watching.